Everybody's talking about the weather and doing something about it, bundling up. These are the scenes that are being duplicated from coast to coast as most of the United States, as far south as Alabama and Georgia, suffers the fifth biting cold wave of the winter. They don't laugh at Grandpa's red flannels anymore. The Windy City, Chicago, lived up to its reputation. With gale-like winds ripping across Lake Michigan, the thermometer seemed to have forgotten there was any reading above zero. The Chicago River was jammed, with ice, that is. Nearly 200 deaths across the nation have been attributed to this latest blast from the Arctic. The nation was snowbound and icebound. Europe is suffering one of her worst winters on record. Snow fell in Italy as far south as Calabria at the toe and heel of the Italian boot. In Florence, the city suffered from the lack of essential supplies when five-foot drifts cut many access routes. Food supplies were short in many villages. Some were isolated for five days before army plows could break through. There have been 104 deaths in Italy directly attributed to the snow. The overall European death toll is above 400. It's a European winter that man and beast will long remember. Across the world, in Japan, 10 to 12 feet of snow blankets some sections of the country. The heaviest fall recorded in the 77-year history of the weather agency. Snow reached to the eaves of some homes, and the weight caused hundreds to collapse. Most of Japan's 58 deaths were caused by people caught in such collapses. Nearly 3,000 people were trapped in seven snowbound trains for three days before they could be rescued. Japan called for volunteers to help in the rescue work when governmental workers were unable to cope with the emergencies. In the U.S., in Europe, and in the Far East, winter was taking a heavy toll in lives and property.